The Southern Poverty Law Center estimates there are nearly 800 known hate groups in America. Their messages are largely spread over the internet. That method became even more accessible in 1995 when the website Stormfront launched. White Americans are regularly told that if they stand up for their own people, that uh, they are haters or racists or bigots. And these are simply terms of abuse designed to stifle discussion. So the purpose of Stormfront and other similar websites is to provide an alternative uh, news media. Today, the site has more than 300,000 registered users who have posted hundreds of thousands of messages. They include topics ranging from why whites should feel proud about slavery to how the Holocaust was faked. The Southern Poverty Law Center has linked the site to nearly 100 murders. Charleston church shooter Dylan Roof also used the web to spread his message. In a manifesto he posted, Roof wrote he was motivated to Google black and white crime after following the Trayvon Martin case. That search led him to the website for the Council of Conservative Citizens. What he learned from our website was the truth. And it is a difficult place, it's a difficult truth to try to learn. So what Dylan Roof learned were facts. Facts that are hard to find because they're essentially taboo in the United States today. Those alleged facts, a list of black and white crimes the CCC says go unreported. Facts that also inspired Roof to open fire in Charleston's Emanuel AME Church, taking the lives of nine people. There are a number of online message boards that, uh, that, that host, uh, you know, that are home to, to people like Dylan Roof. Other places like Vanguard News Network, which is run by a man named Alex Linder. Uh, these are places where people go and they're ultimately echo chambers where ideas that really have no place in, in a functioning democracy thrive. Reddit is becoming one of the latest popular sites for some seeking to promote a racist agenda. In November 2013, the subreddit Great Apes was created. Soon the group expanded to Chimpire and now Coontown, where more than 16,000 residents post racially charged links full of epithets perpetuating black stereotypes.